Today, we are going to be speaking to another 2022 candidate, and we will be speaking with Republican Allison Hayden. Uh, Allison Hayden is running for Congress in California's 14th district against Eric Swalwell, the current Democratic congressman from California's 15th congressional district, now running in the 14th due to redistricting. Uh, Allison, it's great to have you on. I really appreciate your time. Good morning. Hi. So indulge me, if if you will, because there are such diverse views about this among Republican candidates running. I've been starting with what may be a simple question. And if it is, that's great. And we can move on. Who is currently the president of the United States? <laughs> Joe Biden. OK. And do you believe that his presidency reflects the will of the people as they voted in 2020? Uh, I doubt it. I, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know where you doubt it. Uh, I would say with so much controversy around election integrity, which is actually my first um I think mandate when I get in is really to clean up our election processes mm. that there are too there are too many questions. It's really not for me to I'm not on the inside of that. So, well, you I, did retweet a meme that says Trump won. So it seems something made you believe that that you do know who actually won. Right. So you, you tweeted a meme that says Trump won. What makes you think Trump won? Well, you know, I live in northern California and so many people, even Democrats, told me they voted Trump. So the numbers didn't seem to reflect my experience. And so so because some Democrats just, just, told you just is my, you know, yeah, in my own interactions with people. I mean, Trump did get six million votes. So certainly you could have been talking to some of those six million. That's certainly, not really evidence of fraud, is it? No, I'm not. I uh, I will say I went in and I was an observer in the processing of votes. OK. And there were big problems with that. Like what? And I even called out. Uh, I I witnessed uh, a vote being called for Newsom that I could clearly see was not Newsom on the ballot. OK, it, but in terms it, of you, so, tweet, you so tweeted are, that and, Trump won, you tweeted that Trump won. What do you have no, to believe that we're okay. talking election integrity? Yeah. So I, I think there are questions with the vote. OK. And, and we and need for for everyone. You know, that's that's the basis of our Constitution is the sovereignty of the people. Fair. So Absolutely. That should be the first and foremost, um, you know, concern on every American heart that 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 be assured. And I'm, we with have to, yeah. I'm with you 100%. I'm with you 100%. Now, right. when I see the numbers and I say, you know, there are so many more Democrats in California than Republicans that we know from voter registration and Joe Biden won California by 5 million votes. You tweeted that Trump won, but it's because a few Democrats you spoke to said they voted for Trump. That that sounds weak a little bit, doesn't it, Allison? No. Well, you know what? When you have a vote that is uh, perhaps um, compromised, so are the registrations. Actually, anything electronic, we, we need to run through all the voter rolls because there are, you know, we don't really know what's real. So, wow. So you think even so the voter I registration know, I don't is uh, about inaccurate? about the veracity of what is being touted as, uh, you know, representative of. Republicans or Democrats. But let me just say from the outset, David, that uh, I am not a waving a party banner. I think that Americans are hurting. This is not the election or the time in America to be caring about political party membership. Mm. I think that I rejected the Republican Party endorsement. I want to represent Republican values that made this country strong. And those that's what I care about. So I want to clean up the vote. 
and voter rolls because that's that is you know the voice of the people is what represents this country's freedoms and you know we have to get to the bottom of that we so, do but the i guess the issue i'm having allison and this is why yes. i'm so interested in talking to you is if you want to be taken seriously on that it mm -hmm. seems as though some of the things you're repeating on your twitter don't really make it so that someone would take you seriously. I'll give you another, another example. Yesterday, you retweeted a meme indicating that 25,000 dead people voted in Michigan. That's been looked at. The, that, that's just not true. Why, why would you retweet that if you're so serious about this? You know, Twitter for me is as much about raising awareness and about uh, people really rethinking all of these things because, you know, again, I saw that, um, actually today I just saw that the secretary of state Benson yeah. had, uh, voted to keep 26,000 dead people on, on the voter roll. So we have problems. Okay. That's the long and short of it. And Twitter I use as education and to bring awareness and to bring discussion. We need to have discourse about it and it ferrets out more information. You know, when you throw things into the public square, I, the, this whole notion of discourse, this is what is lost in America and this is what made us strong. Iron. But sharp Allison, I, I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt, but you're, you're going so off track. Do you, how many dead people do you believe voted in Michigan? You know, I again, I'm not on the inside. I could not speak to that question. So clearly. how did you why were you clearly, comfortable no, retweeting it's time something for us to all look at the voter rolls? Uh, I don't know if you've seen any of Dr. Douglas Frank's inter, uh his actually he's been going around the country showing us what he discovered. And he's done just on public information. Um, watching and he has the voter rolls for the last 20 years. He's, he's potentially so criminally in possession of voting machines and is being investigated by the FBI. I don't know that that Douglas Frank is the person I would look to on this, but in the well, interest, I'm not sure the FBI is where I would look to for for confidence either. Oh, you're, I mean, are you a supporter of law enforcement? You know, I am definitely. But you know what? We have I think what's been exposed in America yeah. is its underbelly. And we have many problems across many institutions. And this is the hour to clean up America, not to shore up anything that has has uh, fallen. You know, when you have humans leading institutions, you can expect that there's going to, you know, eventually things get corrupted. And we have seen how many of these institutions that we have counted on, relied on, have have problems. And as much as the voter rolls, same with the intelligence agencies, we need to and law enforcement. I live in Alameda. There are there is by the sheriff's office itself admitting how corrupt things have become. So. You know, instead of trying to defend something, let's all come together, unite to fix it. The problem let's, is, Allison, this is for the American people. This is not about party politics. It's very wishy washy to insist on coming together to fix things without being able to demonstrate that they need fixing. And I'll give you an example. There is no evidence whatsoever that anyone other than Joe Biden easily won in California. There is no evidence at all that the voter rolls in California are off. There is no evidence that dead people voted in Michigan. There is no evidence that the FBI investigation of Mike Pillow and Frank that you mentioned is anything other than a completely legal and well-established investigation. It's very easy to just say, let's just come together and we let's just let's just fix it. But when you're wanting to fix things without being able to provide proof that they're broken, it doesn't feel like it's a good faith position. When people are in control of what is said to be true or not, and they themselves are the corrupt ones, we don't know. So your claims coming from them, from from people in positions who themselves may be the ones but that I'm are not corrupt, making claims. Well, you're saying 
I'm, I'm saying, saying you're you, you're making the claim. You're making the claim and showing no evidence. About I'm sorry. You're making the claims, extraordinary claims, and providing not no evidence. America is shouting for truth in voting. Okay, the confidence of the American voter is completely eroded, and we need to fix it. Right. We need to shore up everyone's confidence, and that's Democrats, Republic, every every political stripe. Americans are Americans, and we stand here, and our borders are impacted because the world wants to come here and live and to have the freedoms that we possess. All right. And it is our duty as Americans to make sure those freedoms are, are stand strong. And we, we need to do that and not try to defend something. We All need right. to go in. If there's no problem, what's the problem? That's that's my question okay, to you. Well, Listen, let you. me let me ask you something else, Allison, because I know, you know, we want to focus on evidence. You tweeted that Antifa rioters were actually the ones breaking into the Capitol on January 6th and that MAGA patriots were trying to pull them away from going into the building. You don't honestly believe that now, do you? I'm not sure I tweeted that. You but, did. You tweeted uh, it. You tweeted it uh, January 8th, 2021. We can provide the citation there. There were provocateurs. Well, I mean, please send me that tweet. I would love to see it. Sure. Um, I mean, I tweet a lot of things, but do you I mean would the say things you tweet? There were provo- there were provocateurs there, and they were in the crowd, and they were, you know, Ray Epps was Oath Keepers. He's uh, known to be an FBI uh, associated person. There is absolutely no evidence that Ray Epps is an FBI was associated person. Up the fervor the night before, and that has so been completely the, debunked, I mean, Allison. Just, That's been completely what it debunked. Is. Allison, do you mean the things you tweet? As I said, I use tweets also to it to get people to talk about subjects which are not settled. We need to clean up America. Allison, if do you believe going, that the seven hundred going on, David? Would you not want it sorted out? I would. would you not want those people brought to justice. Is there any evidence whatsoever that you have that the 700 Trumpist defendants from the Capitol riots were not genuinely Trumpists? Any evidence? Well, do you have any evidence they weren't? Yes, their social media records, their social media histories, the things that law enforcement found in their homes, their communications, their uh, overt statements about their political views. We have we have all of that. Do you have anything to suggest that none you of know that is what? real? People went to Washington on January 6th because they questioned the vote. That's telling you that there are many Americans who are not comfortable with the way it went down. But my question so was, that, do you have any evidence that they're yeah. not really Trumpists? Yeah. Allison, I, hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah. You're answering quest different questions. Do I told you why I believe they no, are Trumpists people went there? No, they dragged out things. You can put you, a different frame on any evidence. You not have. a frame, not yes, a frame. Hold can. on a second. Yeah. Hold on a second. Allison. Anybody can. You can you can paint a picture that is completely divorced from reality by by cherry picking evidence. So is it cherry picking to say that the rioters had exclusively pro Trump social comments. media histories? Look, a grandmother is there in jail. People that just cared. And they showed up and they dragged those people before. So this is not OK. This is not America. Those people have a right to a First Amendment to to confront their government when they have a question. But okay? wait a second, Allison. Hold on a second. Wait a second, That's Allison. Part of our Allison, First hold on a second. Right. Allison. No, you and they first were, said. They hold on a second, Allison. Wait a second. Wait a second. Right. Nobody's going to be able to hear you unless we can each t- take a turn. Yeah. You first said. You don't believe they were really MAGA Trump people. And now you're saying no, they had. Ed- Hold on. Let me that. finish you the put question that in though. my mouth. Please don't feed things into my mouth. Everyone out there had I don't I can't characterize. I don't know them. I have never met those 700 people. I can't tell you what they were or were not, but they were out there, made the trip because they were concerned about the vote. So you agree okay. that they were Trumpists? That doesn't make you a Trumpist. That makes you an American concerned about the sovereignty of your vote. Almost no Democrats were concerned about the Trumpist. election. I'm sorry. That makes you an American. Wow. 
Allison, you know, you sound dis completely disconnected from reality, right? Like completely well, your disconnected. Reality, certainly your reality, the empirical perhaps. one for which we have no, evidence. No, there's nothing more empirical to yours than mine. Really? You have no right to to all of a sudden stand on a high horse. Of there's reality. no horse here. No zebra, when, no nothing. Look, look, you know, Allison, yeah, when I'm you ask me what it, makes me believe something, the, the difference, Allison, me. is it when you ask me. When you ask me what, what makes you will, but that's just not no, hold on a second. But here. Allison, wait a second. Let's and see if I can get a word in edgewise. Agree. Allison, when you ask me why I hold a certain belief, I give you the evidentiary reasons why. When I ask you why you hold a belief, you tell me, well, we don't know, or you answer a different question. You you never provide any evidence. Do you see the difference between my beliefs and yours? You're claiming evidence. The evidence is a, is a pe the people that showed up. OK, that's evidence. Is the Trumpists, right, that showed up and rioted because they were mad. You know what? People showed up at the Capitol. Right. Because the president said, if you have questions, you come out be an American. This was not to raid the Capitol, which they did, though. but they did no. that. You know what? There were infiltrators there. So the, the rioters were not the Trumpists who were concerned about the vote. Is that right? I am not a person that was is able to make any determination about the people. All I know is that there were infiltrators there that were whipping people up. And, and trying to get things wow. going. Wow. So, Allison, you're scaring me. I'm scared for the well, future of our nation, really, genuinely. It is, and we should be. That's what, that's what this is all about. Yeah. No, this I mean, if, exactly if folks were to vote for you, I would be very scared. And we should have fear about this. This is why we need to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. This is exactly the reason is to save America. This is not Trump or anything else. All right. Well, you've heard People it here from Allison Hayden. Trump. It's not about Trump. It's about America. Your choices in the 14th district and the rights. Your choices in the 14th district are Allison Hayden and Eric Swalwell. That election will be just weeks away. Allison, we're going to be watching that race very closely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.